start. <laughs> um, no, I was still just having fun with it. Yeah. First experience as a non NCAA race. <laughs> So that's cool. What'd you make of it in terms of just like having people around you? Like, was there what felt different late in the race? Um, nothing really. I just I just took it as another race and had as much fun with it as I could. When they started to pick up the pace towards the end of the race, did you try to go with it? Like, what was your mind? Um, cool my coach just told me that first and sixth is the same, so I just kept that in my mind. Yeah. Did it feel odd not being the first person across the finish line for once? Uh, no, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, and how did you feel like you recovered from the double at NCAA's a couple weeks ago? Um, well, yeah, I stayed here in Oregon and had some downtime, so been nice. But did it take a while for the leg? Like, how long did it take for the legs to come around after NCAA's? So were they pretty much good off the right off? I think they were pretty much good. <laughs> Growing up, do you have any favorite memories of watching the Olympic trials or even the Olympics themselves? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think the last one was Tokyo. Um, I didn't really watch much of it, um, so yeah, and obviously it was different because there was like no one there except for the athletes, so um, yeah, I mean it's awesome, it's very surreal being here and I'm still honestly just taking it all in. Yeah. And how do you feel about your chances of making the team? Um, I'm just going to try my best and see what happens. Yeah. How do you feel like your kick will stack up? Obviously, someone like Ellie St. Pierre has a fantastic kick against some of these women. She do Oh my gosh, I'm spilling water all over myself. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're all obviously professional athletes, and I think they're. I look, lo have looked up to them for so many years, so it's very surreal and awesome to be able to compete with them. Yeah, she does have a very good kick. Yeah, like in tra is that something you work on in training? Because a lot of the time in your races, you're so far ahead that you don't really need to change gears. Like, have you been practicing that throughout the year? Um, yeah, we do speed work. I don't just do distance. <laughs>